Hey guys, I'm just here at home. I feel like I'm catching a cold or something, so I'm all bundled up. Um, but I wanted to let everybody know that on December the 22nd, I received an email from my recruiter, and he pretty much let us know that um, they weren't really going to be available um, to contact them during that season because uh, New Year's New Year's is the most ex the most um, important holiday in Japan, um, and there's a lot of days off that people get during that time of the year. But he also let us know some very um, important information. He let us know that uh, our departure dates. So depending on where I get placed in Japan, I'll either depart March the 18th or March the 25th. If I get placed somewhere where I guess is close to Tokyo, then I will depart March the 18th and I will be training in Tokyo. Uh, but if I get placed somewhere probably in the south of Japan, then my training will take place in Fukuoka and that will be um, on the 25th of March. So it's actually a little bit earlier than I expected. I don't know what I was thinking, but for some reason I thought I was going to start in April, but um, it's actually March. So it's really good to finally know um, my arrival dates. Um, so that's you know a pretty big update. Um, it it was I was watching uh, Mission Impossible, and um, on my iPhone I get immediate notifications whenever I get an email, and I was watching the movie and I got an email from a recruiter and immediately I noticed, and um, I was watching it and there was like all this suspenseful mu uh, suspenseful music playing, and I was reading this email and I was like. You know, <laughs> I was so nervous because the music was making it so suspenseful. The email was pretty suspenseful because it was really long and there was a lot of information and I just wanted to get down to the portion that was the most important. So it was kind of like a cool um, time to be reading that email. Um, but anyway, I wanted to wish everybody a happy new year. Uh, it is 2012 and supposedly we only have until December the 21st before that world's just gonna end. Um, so, uh, make this year the best year of your life. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, um, I have been kind of not making videos because of the holiday season and also because I've been um, into one of my other hobbies uh, that I don't think I mentioned before. Um, I like to make stuffed animals. So here's one stuffed animal that I made myself. Um, I I actually make this by crocheting. I know how to crochet. Um, so here's a little French guy. Uh, I haven't been making stuffed animals in a long time, so it didn't come out that great. Um, and I'm still a beginner, uh, but it's really fun for me to make these kind of things. And um, it's been taking a lot, a lot of my time. It took me... Uh, maybe a day or I don't know how many hours it took me to make this but it took me maybe a week to complete everything because um, I wasn't doing it nonstop. So um, I will be making some other videos soon because um, it is January and this month I will be finding out my placement. So this month I should know where I'm going to be placed in Japan which will let me know uh, my departure date, uh, my arrival date um, and before I leave, I want to keep making as many videos here as possible, especially uh, cooking videos, because when I get to Japan, I'm not going to have the same kitchen that I have, and I'm not going to have the same access to all the ingredients that I have here. So I really want to show everybody what I eat here, and so that it can be compared to what I'm going to eat in Japan. Um, so that's the reason why I've been making so many cooking videos. Um, because I really want to see uh, the differences between what I eat here and what I'm going to have to eat in Japan. Um, and other than that, I'm going to make videos as I know more information about uh, where I stand in the process uh, for my job. Uh, next week or this week, today's Monday, so probably this week, um, I'm going to let my boss know at my full-time job that I got a job in Japan. I've been holding off because I don't leave until March, so there's no need for me to tell my boss, you know, so early. Um, so I'm kind of nervous because um, 
I had applied to the JET program twice before and he knew about that. Uh, but this time around, I didn't tell him anything about me applying to jobs in Japan. I'm sure he knows, um, but I didn't tell him. So he may be shocked, he may not be shocked, I don't know. Um, but it'll be interesting to find out. So um, maybe I'll make a video about crocheting and how I make amigurumi stuffed animals. Um, and I don't know, I guess my time here in the United States is coming pretty close to an end so um, I want to make as many things on YouTube as I can for my life here in the United States uh, before I move out so thanks for everyone who has subscribed to me um, I really appreciate it and I hope you do enjoy the videos that I make and I hope it's information that you want to see but please if you do have any requests or any questions just email me uh, or message me through YouTube um, and I'm gonna be making a contest I'm going to make another one of these, because um, this one didn't come out so perfectly. Um, but I'm going to make, not necessarily this guy, um, but I'm going to make another stuffed animal, and I'm going to make a contest um, to see who can win it, uh, whoever is subscribed to my page. Um, so thanks again for watching, and Happy New Year. Um, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.